Hey, how's it going in today? I'm going to show you how to create this super cool, super easy invisibility effect for your character. And I like this one because it fades in and fades out. So to start with this, you just need to, well, if you want, you should check out this video I just did on direct event binding, and it shows you how to set up the trigger that we're going to use for this. And this is really easy to do, a really nifty thing. So if I come in here right now, I've got the trigger already set up in the game. You can't really see it, but it's right there on that ramp. So if you're wondering how this is triggering, going to get triggered, it's by this box trigger right here. So I have a blueprint just with that. And then I have this little bit of code set up. So just check out that tutorial to see how I did this. So this is where we're at. We're just going to go into the mannequins here, into the materials. And there's the mannequin material right here. This is real easy to do. You just press S, as in Sierra, on the keyboard and click. And then I'm just going to call this. It's important what you call this because we're going to refer to this. And we have to refer to it by exactly this name. So I'm just going to call it Fader. All the material parameters are already set up correctly here. So here on the Fader, under default value, you want to put it to 1. And then we're going to search for something called Dither Temporal. So Dither Temporal anti-aliasing I believe that is and we pop this in here and then this just goes up here into opacity mask and apply and save and that's all we need to do for that so then we're going to jump back into the blueprint third person here and off of this we're going to get a flip-flop node so we'll go flip-flop flip-flop node right there and just plug that in there and then we're going to drive this off of a off of a timeline. Right click again and go timeline. Add, I guess it's add timeline. Timeline. This thing right here. Double click into it. We're going to go to track. Add a float track. Click on that right there. Right click and add a keyframe. And we're going to set the time here to zero. And the value is to one. We'll leave it at five seconds. Anywhere on the timeline again, just right click again and add another keyframe. On its value, on time, we're going to set that to 5.0, and we're going to set the value to 0. And then if we click here and click there, you can see the whole timeline. It goes from a value of 1 to a value of 0 over the course of 5 seconds. If you want the invisibility effect to take longer or shorter, you just adjust that value. Then we go Compile and Save, and we can jump back into our event graph here. So on the A node here, we're just going to put that play from start. And on the B node, we're going to reverse from the end. And then we can just grab our mesh here and search for set scalar parameter value on materials, this one right here. And then on here, what we have to be sure to do is type in that name exactly as we put it on the material. So we go fader right like that then just pop the green into the green pin and update into there and believe it or not that's all we have to do go compile and save come back in here I hit play there's my character and then I walk over here and in five seconds I fade away cool huh and then I cross it back over and I come back in you could rig it that you have a, a box that they pick up or a device that they pick up and then this effect comes on and then when they get rid of the device they come back in so that's like they have a cloaking device or something like this but i just have it that they cross over here and this triggers it versus me hitting it with a keyboard press so anyway i hope you found this helpful take care have a great day and i'll talk to you next time